Okay, okay. Well, you want me to get this one then? Yeah. Okay. I guess the bottom of that's smooth. Okay, here we go. Okay. We got the anvil. Which way? You want me to go around? Yeah, go around. Getting ready to film the anvil shoot. And Mr. Ed is getting ready to light it up there. And we'll get the camera repositioned and get ready to go. Okay, Mr. Ed is going to light them up until it's fire in the hole, and then we'll have approximately 15 seconds. And the anvil will blast skyward. Ed has lit the anvil launcher. So here we go. And Ed is going to time it. He's got his stopwatch. There we go. You see it? Okay. There it goes. It's way up in the air, now it's coming down, where she lands nobody knows, boom, very good. How many seconds, Ed? What's the bed, what's this bed weigh anyway? This um, is where we're now leveling the, the base, the base probably weighs a good 200 pounds. We have a 160, pe 160 pound piece of iron steel on top and it's overlaid on three 6x6's six six bolted together. So now we'll do another check to see if it's level enough for firing. Yeah, check the level. Thank you. We missed it out with our little squirt bottle. Okay. Just see over there, and then we wiped it out well. And now we're going to build a little cartridge with aluminum foil and our chili can. There you go. The aluminum foil is just one further precaution used in cannon shooting to prevent communication of any sparks to the powder. You can't tolerate any accidents. There we go. We put aluminum foil cup in the bottom. And the reason it's only in the bottom is because that's the only place there are any little crevices or looking down to the chamber of the launcher which is about three inch diameter the bore diameter in the top section is about 5.5 inches this being a retired uh, US Navy 8 inch gun breech block as indicated by the uh, ample markings that remain now it is going to go ahead and puncture the aluminum foil and lead a fuse in through there there we go we got plenty of fuse in there now we'll load it with two pounds of black powder triple FG which is what we uh, normally use for a launch of this kind with this launcher and this anvil the anvil weighs uh, approximately 115 pounds One pound of uh, German uh, black powder has been uh, loaded into the uh, launcher. Ed's going after the other pound. It's about ten dollars worth so far. We'll put ten dollars more in and this shot will cost us about twenty bucks just in powder. That's why we don't rapid fire this system. It's a bit on the expensive side. Very good. Now Ed has loaded the second pound of black powder, triple FG. Now he's going to put in a couple of wads with a special wad inserter. He's uh, cut these wads very carefully out of very stiff cardboard that came out of uh, surplus ammunition cans. Ed puts in the first wad. Tamps it down with the uh, special purpose uh, wad compressor, puts in the second wad, 
tamps it down with the uh, wad compressor. Now Ed is going to get his uh, special uh, play box quality sand and uh, put it in the launcher. Special sand. Here we go. Going to fill it all the way up to the top and tamp it down a little bit. Well this is Ralph, our uh, anvil knot. The first anvil knot the world has ever known. And uh, Ralph is a reindeer, I think. Uh, we, we found him at a toy store, and he just looked like he wanted to take a ride with us. So uh, we're going to give him a ride. Uh-oh! Come on, Ralph. Get back on there. It's not that bad. It won't hurt. Come on. Just a little bit of pre-flight jitters. Yeah, a little bit of jitters there. Okay. There you go, Ralphie. Right. Come on. Mr. Ed will set you right back down. Okay. Now, should we glue him down or something? Because we can't really afford to have him fall off after he... Uh, Light the fuse, you know, that's 20 bucks down the drain. Maybe we'll take a minute here and uh, fix him a little. Okay. Come on up, Ed. Let's take another picture with you and Ralphie now that Ralphie is seated. Okay. All right, Ralphie, remember what I said. Just take a deep breath, whisper a silent prayer, and call us when you get to the moon. You're okay. Trust me. Bye, Ralph. Bye, Ralph. Bye, Ralph. Okay, we're ready to watch Ralphie, the world's first anvil knot being launched by John and Ed of Springfield Arsenal. There's Ralphie, there's Ed. Okay Ed, let's light him up. Okay, here we go with Ralph the anvil knot from beautiful Northern Virginia. Ed is downrange, he's gonna light him up. He's gonna give us fire in the hole. And we will have the world's first anvil knot. Now here we go. We're gonna back up a little bit so we can get all the pleasure of this shot. Here we go, only a few seconds left. Whoa! There goes the anvil. I'm afraid that uh, the moose, Ralphie, didn't make it quite as far as the anvil. But that's the world's first anvil knot launching. Let's see if we can find Ralph the anvil knot. Uh-oh! I only see pieces coming down. What is this? Did Ralph not survive? Oh no! Oh my god! Ralph didn't survive! Look at that! Oh, his body parts are all over by the anvil launcher! Oh, oh my god! 1995 down the effing drain!